Hey, everybody. Happy hump day, friends. I am live from my studio here in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, and Charity Breckville Stampin' Queen. So if you guys are on, come on in, give me a like or a love. Let's see who all is here today. We are going to do some stamping, obviously. That's what I do every Wednesday. So I want to make sure while we're while you guys are coming in, a couple little housekeeping things before we get rolling. Um, and that is the 12 weeks of Christmas. That is kicking off this Friday. Yay! I'm so excited. So this is just a this is a freebie. The four of us teamed up together, myself, Betsy Kreider, Connie Heisey, and Mary Ellen Stites. And we each are bringing you a special project tutorial for absolutely free every single week for the 12 weeks of Christmas. So it's going to kick off on September 30th, which is Friday, and you're going to get a special tutorial. It is exclusive. This is the only way to get these tutorials is by being on my mailing list. So if you're already on, no worries. You're going to get them automatically on Friday. They'll go out Friday, every Friday morning for the next 12 weeks. And let me tell you, you guys, I'm so stoked. Like our PDFs look great. We've been doing a lot of behind the scenes prep. We, we got um, the projects made for each other and seeing them in real life. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I think you're going to love them. And it's just a little, it's a thank you for being awesome. It's a thank you for supporting us. And uh, hopefully it will just be a little bit of an inspiration, a little extra for you guys during the holiday. So you can take these tutorials and use them. Like you can create with them. You can change the stamp set or change the sentiment or use what you have at home. Um, or maybe you have the items already. So I can tell you I'm kicking off on Friday with a stamp set called Jingle, Jingle, Jingle. So if you have not seen that one, let me see if I have it. This is the stamp set that I choose that I chose to play with. And it's one that had not gotten any ink on it. And so I was like, this is a cool one because it has no bundle. It has no dies, no punch or anything, just a standalone stamp set. And it is really, really cute. So hopefully you'll like those um, projects that I have. And then the other girls created with some other items from the uh, holiday catalog. So wanted to make sure that you guys are in my mailing list. If you are not, the link will be in the description of this video. So all you need to do is sign up and then it's automatically going to start to roll and you're going to get that fri every Friday morning for the next 12 weeks. So yay. Oh, you have that one. Fantastic. Hopefully this will be some inspiration for you guys. So I do have a meeting that I have to get to today. So we're going to get rolling with some Christmas cards today. I have five Christmas cards I want to share with you guys. And these are actually the cards that I made in my stamp -a stack class. So I run stamp -a stacks in person. So a lot of friends were in stamping with me Monday and Tuesday. And then I come on and I share with you guys what we created. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I just need to pull in my supplies. So hang on one sec. All right, we're going to start off with our little gnomes. They are so stinking cute. So there's our little gnome stamp set, the kindest gnomes. And then he has a bundle that goes with him. He's got dies. So um, actually, let me stop for a second as you guys are coming in, because I'm seeing everybody saying good morning and where they're from, which is awesome. I love seeing where you guys are joining me from. But I want to shout out our Florida friends. Um, I, some of them said that they would not be on, they're hunkered down, they're getting ready for, um, the hurricane. And so we probably will not see a lot of our Florida friends on with us this morning. So Florida friends, we are thinking about you guys. We are praying for you guys. We hope everybody stays safe and we cannot wait till you come back and join us for some, some stamping lives. Cause it's always fun to see, um, where everybody comes from and we know we're thinking about you guys. All right. So lots of love to our, our Florida friends. All right, so let's go ahead and get started back with our kindest gnomes. So I have, here's our card. Let me share the end project. Here he is. Isn't he adorable? So cute. So we're going to use him now. Is he Christmas? He's going to be today, but he certainly would not need to be Christmas, which is great. You can use him 
all year long. He's a year long kind of gnome. Now, speaking of gnomes, I want to make sure that I do remind you that today is the final day to register for our gnome for the holidays uh, Pampered Stamper Retreat. So this is in person. It is in my town, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. I would absolutely love for you guys to come and hang out with us, but I know that's not always possible. Um, so we do have retreats in a box. You get all the good stuff delivered right to your home. So registration is closing today. That is Wednesday, September 28th. You can hit the description below and look for the link. So quick reminder on that. Now let's go ahead and get rolling with our Nomi. So I've got some Pacific Point here. We're going to fold that in half. That'll be our card base. And that's a color I have not had out for a while. So I was happy to see the blue come back. Pacific Point has been neglected for a little bit. Now we've got our basic white here, and that is embossed ahead of time with this embossing folder that I cannot remember its name. I feel like I want to say painted textures, but... The name is escaping me exactly. I know one of you guys will know for sure what that is, but that I love that embossing folder. Such a great folder just to create a little bit of background. Some of the coordinating designer series paper. That's going to go right here in the middle. And then some more of the designer paper, just another pattern. I love the colors in here, all the blues. So pretty and fun. Very Christmassy, right? Now I've just got a piece of vellum. And I'm just going to have that on here. I'm going to just put the vellum. I'm going to do my adhesive. And I don't want to do all over the vellum because I don't want to see through it. So I just... I just tack it right where my little gnome is going to go. So you won't see the adhesive. Now my favorite adhesive to use with vellum is actually the paper pumpkin glue dots. So if you're a paper pumpkin peep, get out those glue dots. All right, I'm already missing stuff. How does that happen? Oh, it's hiding. I was gonna say, maybe these gnomes create some havoc when I'm not in the studio. A little memento black for this guy because we're going to color him with the blends. But anyway, I was saying if you guys are paper pumpkin people, use those mini glue dots. I know some people have a love-hate relationship with them. Um, I love them for vellum because <laughs> you cannot see through it. Or you can't, what am I saying? You can't see the adhesive through the vellum is kind of what I'm getting at. All right, so we've got a gnome stamped in our memento black. We're gonna color him in with blends. And then I have a strip here and we're gonna grab the Pacific Point and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year for this guy. And we'll set that aside while we do a little bit of our coloring. So the colors that I chose are balmy blue, light and dark. I've got flirty flamingo, petal pink, light and dark smoky slate, and light and dark night of navy. Let me make sure I'm correct, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna take my light night of navy and that's his clothing. So they're going to be the lighter shade of navy. Navy, dark night of navy gets a little too dark for me. And sometimes I think you lose the detail in the stamp. So I'm just going to use the light here. But I did do a little smidge of dark down here on the bottom of his shoe so I could kind of blend it upwards. So his little boots are gonna be navy. I'm having a heck of a time today. I think I said on Monday's video how my allergies are so bad. 
I, they, my, my eyes are just like watery and blurry all the time. I did take my walk this morning and we walk out through the cornfields on our farm. So I wonder if maybe that really creates some trouble for me. Now I'm going to grab the smoky slate. That's going to be his beard. He's an old gnome. He's got a gray beard. Alrighty, there we go. But he could, some of my gnomes that I've been working with have white beards. Um, but this guy, I did a gray beard just to give him a little bit more, a little bit more color. There we go. Now I've got some dark, blonde, dark, balmy blue. And I'm just going to come in here and give those accents with the dark. And then he's going to have little wrists here and some accents there with the dark. And then we'll come in and add the light for his little mittens and the rest of his pants. and the rest of his hat. So he's a blue guy. He's got all, all shades of blue here. Alrighty. So this is the only one I had for coloring. I know some people love to color. Some people hate to color, but I, the blends have made me love, love, love coloring. Now, I think what I'm going to do is, do I have a dark dark smoky slate. There it is. I can go in here and I can just kind of fleck his beard a little bit just for some dimension. Just where Stampin' Up! gave me, I'm just going to put some dark flecks there and that just helps his beard just kind of pop a little bit more. Then I'm going to take that white, that light balmy blue, and I'm going to give him some place to stand. So it looks like he's probably going to stand on some snow maybe. Because sometimes it just looks like he's out there floating in the floating in the water. So a little bit of the color lifter comes in here and can bleed that ground area just so it doesn't look like I really drew it in. It kind of fuzzes it a little bit, which I like. He's gonna have a pinky nose. And well, that's petal pink. And then he's got a flirty flamingo mouth. Now, the final step with this guy is he needs some Winkostella, right? Let's see if my Winker pen is working here. So I wanted to give, oh, it's getting dry. It went through a lot at class this past week. Yeah. Oh, I think we're out. Let me try and get... See if I can get a little bit more run in here. Oh, there we got some. But I think I had, how many people are here for my, for my Christmas card stamp of stack? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 of us got together and made Christmas cards between Monday and Tuesday. So my Winker pen was well loved. Anyway, I know it also doesn't really show very much on camera, but I am doing Winkostella on his mittens and on his little gnome hat. So there we are for that. Now we'll attach him down. I've got some dimensionals, don't I? Somewhere. I feel like half of my Facebook lives with you guys are searching for things. Searching, searching, searching. Always searching. All right, we've got, we're down to the nubbins, but we know we love to use the nubbins, right? So I'm just going to cut these little nubs right here and we're using them up. Sometimes these are the exact ones you want. Nice thin little strips, but 
I use all of my dimensional. You are so right, Karen. Gnomes are the rage. You've got that right. And I do like the fact that we created this one for all year, that you can keep on using him. Um, somebody was telling me they were going to make birthday cards. Thinking of you, you know me so well. So there's our little guy. He's going to sit right down here in the center. And then we'll do some dimensionals on the strip here that I stamped our sentiment. And that's going to go right here and kind of bridge there. Now we do need some bling, do we not? Everything's better with bling. So I'll grab my picker tool and a couple. These are the rustic metallic dots. And I'm just going to put them right on the end. And ta-da! The cutest little gnome you ever did see. Love him. He's so stinking cute. All right. So I've got a couple more cards. So let me grab the rest of my stuff. Okay, one other thing I want to make sure you guys know. I told you about the 12 weeks of Christmas, right? I told you about our retreat that is ending today. But I also wanted to make sure you guys know that we have a totally free virtual craft along. Stampin' Up! is sponsoring this in honor of World Card Making Day. That is October, that's a trip, Oct October 1st. That's Saturday, you guys. So is anyone registered to attend the World Card Making Day event that Stampin' Up! is hosting? I am. I am. I'm actually going to be at a retreat that one of my team members is putting on. So I'm super excited about that. I'll be at that in the morning. And then I think this is in the afternoon. So I'm going to kind of hop in and see what this is all about. So it's totally free, you guys. Absolutely free. So if you're not sure how to get registered, um, send me a message. Comment below. Let me know. I can get you the link. Um, you do need to register. But again, it is absolutely free. And I'm pretty sure the registration, they're going to send you the platform that it's being held on. Uh, so um, I'm really excited about that. I think it's going to be so much fun. They're focusing on three bundles. The Cottage Rose which I do not have here, the cottage wreath, which I do have here, and a brand new one that I swore I had. Oh, this one, brand new, warm welcome. So this is this is a little sneaky peek. So there's gonna be three, let me grab it. I can, I can get it, hold on, hold please. So these are the three they're going to create with all three of these bundles. Now, does that mean you have to have these bundles? Nope, you do not. Um, does it mean that you could use something else? Absolutely. Does it mean that if you already have them, get them out and craft along, right? Super fun, super fun. Oh, you'll be at a volleyball tournament. Yeah, check it out. I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be recorded. Pretty sure I did hear that it will be recorded. And it is for customers and demonstrators, which is super, super fun. So mark your calendars for that. If you're not sure how to register, hit me up and I will get you what you need to know. All right. So our next card, we have got some thick basic white. So we're going to fold that in half, put that score right down in there. And we are using this bund. Well, yeah, this stamp set here called Brightest Glow. Such a great Christmas. Just all sentiments. Absolutely love it. Now I've got a piece of basic white that I embossed ahead of time with the quatrefoil embossing folder. I love this one because it could go either way, this way or this way, whatever your choice is. And I'm not sure what, what the time is. It is escaping me right now because it will it's it's based on mountain time so depending on where you live but i felt like it was 
like two to five mountain time. Don't quote me on that, but I do think that's what world card making day, like two to five mountain time, something like that. Somebody else here may know the exact, the exact times. Cause I totally forgot to look. All right. Now I've got a piece of cherry cobbler that I die cut with the scalloped contours die and a piece of the Holly designer series paper. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this paper, but it is stunning. So here's the Holly paper. It's in the holiday catalog. Uh, and it is a 12 by 12. I just cut it down so it showcases a little bit better on camera. But such a gorgeous pack of designer series paper. And that is available now. So we did use a piece of that. This is my favorite piece. I love that one. But I thought it's just so pretty. Very, very festive for sure. Very festive. There's the piece I'm using today. And then, of course, there's Christmas camo. Can't be Christmas without camo. So that's the Holly Berry paper, I think maybe it's called. So we're going to attach that DSP down to the center of our cherry cobbler rectangle. There we are. And then I'm going to attach it to our card base with some dimensionals. Okay, hold on one second. I have somebody at my door. I'll be right back. No. Oh, it's all right. That's all right. Anybody? No, you're good. I'm doing my live. So, I all right. I'll see you when you get home. <laughs> Okay, kids, so sorry about that. I forgot to put somebody's order out on the porch for her. Anyway, here we go. And that right on top of here. Hmm, I feel like maybe it goes this way. I don't think it matters. I just was kind of looking at that little flower. That little flower, yes. Oh, good. Patty says two to five mountain time is world car making day. Um, hello, we're missing a piece. I wonder where it went. Did I drop it when I moved? I need a little circle to stamp our sentiment on, but I'm not seeing it. And it may have fallen when I ran to get the door. But I have some extra here. There we go. All right, so making sure all these little little holes came out. Yep. All right. So let's grab some cherry cobbler ink. And we're going to do all is merry and bright. And we're going to stamp that right there in the center of our circle. While I have the ink out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment in the middle. So I'm ready to roll. And I did wishing you a season of hope and light. There we go. All in cherry cobbler. Put it away before we have a giant accident. So next step is some adhesive on the back. I'm just using my stamp and seal. And we're going to attach that to one of these pieces of uh, Evening Evergreen Glimmer. I love that glimmer pack. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Now, oh, this is the embossing folder. I don't know if that really shows very well on the camera, but that's the embossing folder that I used. It is in the annual catalog. Quatrefoil, it's called. All right, next step, some more Pop-Tarts. And then we're going to add a pretty bow. There we go. All is merry and bright. And I have some evergreen, evening evergreen sheer ribbon. And this was actually one of the weekly specials the other week. So we have, we're having, we're ending them 
is it today? Is today the last day for weekly specials? Today's the 28th, right? So today is the last call for those weekly specials. So I stocked up, this was last week's, I believe, and I stocked up on them because I knew I was gonna be using them for my class. So I'm gonna put a little booger on there, put a little boogie on it. It's just gonna go right here, trim those edges. And there is a very pretty, easy to make, very easy to recreate a bunch of those cards. Isn't that just stunning? This is actually a uh, case from my friend, Marsha. She made this one and I saw it and was like, oh, what a good stamp stack card. So there we go. There's card number two. Card number three. Oh, while I'm here, let's see. There was my weekly deal graphic. Yes, through September 28th. So weekly deals end today. So you can hop over to my online store right there. Hop over there. You can check out the weekly deals for this week and you can grab them quickly before they leave today. Lots of things ending today, right? Lots ending. Now, um, I got to get my Stamparatus, so let's give myself some room here. Bring in the old Stamposaurus, because we're going to make a Christmas tree. Oh, I found my piece that went missing. Of course I did. As soon as I turned around, I'm like, there's the little circle that I needed. All right, so what I did with this one... This is using trimming the tree. So let's find let's find this goodie here. There's this, this stamp set and bundle called trimming the tree. This is actually in the annual catalog. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm totally getting spam comments. I'm gonna, oh, this is not fun. I don't know if you guys can see them or not, but 69mega.com is, is blowing up my comments with have a good time, find your love. So this is this is the sucky part about Facebook and uh, public pages. Yeah, so some spammers on here ruining our fun. Anyway, trimming the tree, guys, this is in the annual catalog and it is a stamp set by itself. Super cute, but I think a lot of us looked over this one. Um, and this month only, we are having, oh good, it's not showing here, yay. <laughs> oh, well then I'm sad you guys won't find your good time love. You're not seeing all the comments, there's seven of them. <laughs> so maybe, I wonder if maybe I'm seeing it, but it's being filtered through, which would be awesome if StreamYard is filtering, filtering that out, that would be cool. Anyway, um, if you guys want to know how to find your true hot love, I'll let you know. <laughs> Debbie, I was waiting. Debbie said, can you link me up? <laughs> 69mega.com, Debbie. That's who, who you need to hit up. <laughs> oh, it's showing on YouTube. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, I can fix that totally on YouTube. Thanks, Beth. That's it. That's good to know. Anyway, guys, back to back to our regularly scheduled programming, huh? <laughs> um, this die set is available to coordinate with this stamp for this month only. So this ends on the 30th. You can get this little bundle. All righty. Donna says her good time love has four paws and fur. Amen, girl. Amen. All right. So back to stamping here. Now that we've had our fun with mega, mega love. <laughs> I die cut these out ahead of time, right? So then what I do is I just stick, I create a, a template here, right? So this is, I've showed this before, but I want to make sure that you guys know how to do this because does it ever make, the, <laughs> Betty says this is a PG program. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I guess I need to go over to YouTube and do some deleting. Um, so what I did was I took, this is the grid paper, right? That's the uh, Stamposaurus grid paper. And I stamped the tree right there. Then I die cut this piece out. 
So you've seen me do this many times, but I want you guys to take advantage of this because it makes your lives so much simpler. So then I lay that right here. It's like a little puzzle piece, right? I lay that there. I get it nice and lined up. I put my magnets on to hold it down. And then I can take all those die cuts and just put them right inside that puzzle piece, right in there. Now we're going to do uh, soft succulent first. So I'm going to ink that up. Yeah, those of us who have been married that long, right? It's not worth looking for good love, new love. Yes, we've spent a lot of time and energy in those guys, our, our significant others. Who wants to train a new one? Am I right? All right. So we're going to put our soft succulent there. It peeled it off, but no big deal. All right. Looks good. I'm going to leave it still there in the hole because on the other side, I have, you guys can see this one. I have the, the little um, detail for the tree and I'm going to use evening evergreen. So I'm just going to ink up those little details. And then I'm going to close without banging the camera. I'm going to close that right over top of our little Christmas tree. And there you go. It's perfect. Good. Perfect. Perfect. How about it? So I could just like quickly whip out like 9,000 of these in just minutes. All right. So we're done with that one. So let's put that off to the side. Now I am going to add some garland. So I used the cherry cobbler and I want to tell you guys, if you have this stamp set, that trimming the tree, be very careful with this one in particular. It's super easy to make a little bit of a mess because it is such a thin, skinny, little tiny dots. And then these big thick pieces of rubber that kind of hold it together. So I almost just lay it in my ink pad. I am hardly pushing at all. Lay it in my ink and that photopolymer will kind of suck the ink to, to the stamp. And then I'm just going to put it on here, barely pushing, hardly any pressure at all. And now you can see I've got those cute little uh, cherry cobbler garland. So that's my little tip for having you you for using that stamp set. I love it, but this one can give you a little bit of a fit. The other thing is a lot of times with photopolymer, we want to use something squishy underneath. That's kind of how we get things to work a little bit better. But in this one in particular, the harder the surface, the better for me just for that stamp set. All right, now we've got bits and pieces. So we're going to fold our cherry cobbler in half for our card base. <clears throat> we've got our basic white. So let's go ahead and put a sentiment on that since we're here. Might as well, sh right? If we're here, let's do it to it, Mountain Dew. My kids, was it my kids that just asked me this weekend why I say that? I don't know. I have said that for a long time. So I don't know if that was a commercial, like a Mountain Dew commercial. Do it to it, Mountain Dew. All right. So there's our center. We'll tuck that right in there. We've got a panel of basic white and evening evergreen to attach together. That's what our tree is going to go on. I have a piece of the Lights Aglow designer series paper. Love this pack. It was sold out. It is back in the last that I looked. Cute little six by six pack. Oh, your friend says that? That's what makes me wonder if maybe it was a commercial when I was a kid. Perhaps. Okay, some dimensionals. Well, now let's do this one flat. And then we'll add dimensionals to our tree. So we're going to have this panel flat there. There we go. Now, this little label, this little Christmas tree bucket, 
And these cute, cute, cute little bows are all in that set of dies. So we're going to stamp a sentiment here with our evening evergreen. I just realized I forgot to show you guys the finished project, but that's okay. We're already rolling halfway through, so you'll see it when we're done. Happy holidays right there on that label. And now we can do some assembly. Oh, there we are. So dimensionals on the tree. So we'll pop up our tree here. There we are. We're going to put the little tree bucket underneath. He's not going to be popped up there. I, I don't want too much dimension on here, but I do want my Christmas tree in its stand. So he's got that cute little bucket. Then we're going to add a dimensional here to the sentiment. And there's our happy holidays. Now we'll grab ourselves a little snot dot. Yes, um, actually, Shannon, I, I don't have a blog. Uh, I, well, that's a lie. I do have a blog. I don't blog actively, but I put dimensions in the descriptions of the videos, but keep in mind, guys, I got to head out to a meeting here right after this. So probably the dimensions and everything will not be put in till I get back from that. Cause I need to edit everything. So, but yeah, I will put the dimensions in there for you guys. So you can scroll down if you want to make some of these at home. So I just took one of those little snot dots and I'm going to kind of roll it up a little bit here so it's not sticking out. And I'm adding that to the top of the Christmas tree for his little cute little bow at the top of the tree. Then we'll grab some of our festive pearls. These are back in stock as well. They had been sold out for a bit. Now the red is already gone, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and use gold. I think that will just help the little bow pop a little bit. So we'll have some uh, gold pearls on our Christmas tree. So there is card number three with trimming the tree. Oh my gosh, I'm rhyming. Card number three, trimming the tree. Card number three, trimming the tree. Oh, this one rhymes too. All is merry and bright, wishing you a season of hope and light. I'm wrapping it out today. Stamping and wrapping. You guys are so lucky. All right, card number four. Okay, rolling right along. Everybody still with me? Having a good time today? I hope so. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I, was, I had a little ch chitty chat with my team yesterday. Um, because we're kind of talking about how the way the world is changing, things are not the same as they used to be before COVID, right? Um, and sometimes <laughs> I am on fire today. Uh, this is one of the highlights of my time. You know, I have, I have never done stamping. Stamping up is my job, right? That is actually my job, but it's always been something I loved. And I said, I would do this. I would do Stampin' Up! until the day I felt like it was work. Now, I do work, uh, right? Like, Patty works for me. Becky works for me. We do work, guys, when we're prepping and getting things ready. But it's fun. Like, it's so enjoyable. And going live is one of the bright spots of my week, like hanging out with you guys. I mean, I'm here in my stamp studio by myself, just me and a snoring dog. But I get to come on and hang out with you guys. And I've met people from all over the place. And I just like, it's just such a highlight. So I'm like, even when things are down and stamping sometimes doesn't feel like it's a priority. Um, I mean, it does in my life, but I know some people are getting to that point. You know, life is tough. Work is tough. Uh, my nursing friends are struggling. My teacher friends are struggling, you know. But I'm like, this is still like such a bright spot. Yes, totally. Therapy. Hope and peace. That's what we're using today. So speaking of um, bright spots, this is such a great, great, great stamp set. 
and uh, really like this one. Just a standalone stamp set, does its own thing. No dies, no punch, none of that. Just a great um, spirit-filled stamp set. So I really enjoy this one. So we've got Knight of Navy here. We've got Balmy Blue. This is basic white, that's our inside. So we'll go ahead and do, do our stamping first. Um, same, Lori, same. You guys are gifts to me as well. Uh, let's see, I think we're gonna go with this one. Wishing you the hope and peace of Christ this season. So we're gonna do that one, Knight of Navy. And then I have got already punched out with, this is one of the, I think it's called decorative labels. We're going to do tidings of comfort and joy in Night of Navy. And this is such a quick and easy card. You could, you could really whip out a bunch of these if you need to make lots of cards uh, for your friends and family. So we're going to tuck this one in here. Then we've got some of that amazing um, snowflake vellum. Now I have used the entire pack, so I can't even show you what the rest of the pieces look like, but some are kind of iridescent and holographic, and then some are flocked as well. Now with the vellum, again, it's one of those things that I don't want to see all of the adhesive sticking through. So I'm gonna go across the middle cause that's where my ribbon's gonna go. And then I can strategically place little dollops here and there where my snowflakes are. Again, you could use those, um, those paper pumpkin glue dots, right? They work pretty well. All right, so we're gonna attach this to our balmy blue. And then we're going to attach a strip of the ribbon that comes with the gnomes. This is him. I can't think of its name either, but it is double. It's like a cotton ribbon with a strip of blue. Very, very pretty. And we're just going to tack those ends around the middle here. And I want to make sure I cut them real short because I had to make the whole roll last well. Because when the girls come to stamp in person, they're making 15 cards. They make all five of these cards, three of each card. So it, they're cooking. We do a lot of stamping when it is Christmas Stamp-A-Stack. So that looks a little crooked, but I think it'll be okay. There we are. Now I've got that to go here, but I do want to add a snowflake. And so I went to these laser cut snowflakes. These are almost like a hidden gem in the catalog. So it comes already laser cut, right? And you can kind of see that they're iridescent -y. and you just pop them out very, very carefully because they have little skinny, little skinny arms. So we don't want to tear them. There we go. Pop one of those out. 24 in a pack for like six bucks. They are amazing. I think they're called wonderful snowflakes. So check them out. We had them last year and we brought them back again this year. They're a great little embellishment. So I'm gonna grab myself a snot dot here and I'm gonna put that right in the center of the snowflake. I wanna make sure I'm using the right, right side because one is a little bit, one's kind of iridescent -y, and then the other side is plain. And you can color these too, which is very cool. So we're just gonna tuck this little snowflake here down behind the ribbon. He doesn't wanna go, but we're gonna make him do it. And I, I wanna make sure I don't have any of his little wings sticking off there. Now I'm gonna grab some more dimensionals. We're gonna use up this sheet here, which is super exciting. I love doing that. Use up, use it up. And there we go, our tidings of comfort and joy. Okay, how about that for just, isn't that cool? I don't wanna even add any more bling on there, right? Cause look at that snowflake, so much fun, so fun. All right, there was card number four. Everybody able to hang in there for card number five? Okay, woo. 
There we go. Basic black on this one. So this is a little bit different. Black and red for Christmas. Now you could totally change this one to red and green. Absolutely. Uh, and this card also could be for anything. I'm missing my stamp though. Hold on a second. Hold please. We got this, these little guys. I have to use them because they remind me of my great aunt. My great aunt Rose always had Scotties. I've talked about her before. That's actually who my daughter is named after. Great aunt Rose. She was a pistol. All right, so I've got red here and we're gonna go ahead and stamp our sentiment while we have it. And we're just gonna do Merry Christmas. I think maybe I'll doctor that one up a little bit. Oh no, Dawn. Work is distracting her. We can't have that. It's ruining our stamping fun when you have to go to work work. But that's okay. I'll be right back here. Right here when you're ready. Okay, now I am going to get out the, the um, squishy mat or the stamp and pierce mat as it's known because I am finding that this particular photopolymer set does need a little bit of cushion. So I'm gonna ink up this plaid with real red. And I know this needs, I know this needs juiced. And we're just gonna stamp that down. And there we go, some cute little plaid for our Scotty guy. And then we'll go ahead, while it's open, we're gonna do our sentiment down here too. And he's another one that lends itself for the rest of the year. Uh, oh, I will need a bow. Come on off of there carefully. Uh-oh. I might have to find a stamp cleaner and see if I can get that off of there. It's stuck to the back of the ink pad. Oh, I think we're okay. Spit worked. <laughs> Work is a bad word. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys crack me up. All right. So while we have this here, let's go ahead and attach this to our real red cardstock so I can get that out of the way. And then we can stamp our Scotty because I'm going to give you some tips on stamping him as well. So there's our mat on the real red. And then that's going to go right onto our basic black. Okay, that's that belongs in there. Okay, so now I want to do Mr. Scott. So I'm using the Stamparatus again because what I find is our Memento Black just does not give a deep, rich black. I need to do it a couple times. So I've got some white here and I have my Scotty on the Stamposaurus. So let's make sure I put it down right where it'll fit because I need to make sure he's gonna fit on there. Okay, and I'm going to attach my magnets. Now, let's grab some Memento Black. Make sure when you're using the Scotty, if you want a black Scotty, you need to make sure that your Memento is good and juicy. And we're gonna close that without whacking the camera. Got out the old air hockey pucker. It's not a puck, but I don't know what to call it. Okay, so now we have our Scotty, right? But see, he's not totally black. Like I want him to be really black, like a Scotty. So we're gonna go do this again. Second verse, same as the first. A Little bit louder and a little bit worse. There he is. So isn't that awesome? So much better. So we're going to pop him out because it's a punch. I'm just putting that in there so I don't have to clean. We're going to punch out that little guy. And then we'll stamp his bow and he'll be good to go. Oh my gosh, I can't stop. It is an air hockey puck. Is that what it's called though? 
for real, Patty? Because the puck is the thing you hit. So we'll have to figure out. That's what I figured. The puck is the thing that you hit. This is the little thing you hit the puck with. But I don't know. Oh, um, look. The beauty of my, my uh, empty sheet. I love that. Now, do I have any more? <laughs> I might be stuck. I might not have any more dimensionals. Rut row. Yep, I have to find some more. I do have little bitties here. They'll work. So we'll put some bitty dimensionals on him till I find the rest of them. Ah, a paddle. Ah, uh, that would that would make sense. An air hockey paddle. Anyway, there it is. Amazon. I love it. All right. There goes our Scotty guy. He's right there. Now I have this leftover so I can use that and stamp his little festive bow. So we'll do that in real red. Oops. Easy girl. And we'll put that on with a little snot dot, I do believe. Put a little boogie in it. And there is his festive, jaunty little bow. And final step, right? Everything's better with bling. So I've got some iridescent pearls here. I love these pearls. They're so pretty. So we'll put one there in the center of his bow, and then we'll just put a couple here around the sentiment. And there is card numero four. Done. And I'm going to make my, I got a big old mess here, but I'm going to make my appointment, so no worries. So we've got Scotty. We've got our blue tidings of comfort. We've got this one our Christmas tree, and the gnomies. Look at all those gorgeous cards. Gorgeous. I love it. So um, that's all I have for you guys today. And I will be back here Monday and Wednesday, always YouTube and Facebook for you guys to hang out. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on the face page. And you guys have, let me see if I can switch this off. I don't want that off anymore. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, you're so welcome. Thanks for joining me, you guys. So much fun. So much fun. So we'll be doing this again in person. Uh, let's see, October. Yeah, the end of October, the girls will come and stamp in real life. And then I will come on and show you what we created. Um, but I will be back here Monday and I will be back here on Wednesday next week as well. All right. So hopefully I see some of you guys online during the World Card Making Day event that Stampin' Up's holding. All right, kids, have a wonderful week. See you, everybody.